All right, hello, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, we got Arn's alternate weapon, um, most of the remaining Jack Spheres, minus the one in Besaid Village, shot off that fight against Dark Valifor, and you know what? We ain't strong enough to take on Dark Valifor, and much less the other much stronger other Dark Aeons out there. Um... And we're not really going to be doing that side quest. This LP, if you want to watch somebody, I highly recommend watching uh, Dark Kefka and his guide to defeating the Dark Aeons. Uh, years ago, that's how I ended up getting to defeat Dark Bahamut. But today is about none of that. Today is about Waka and Blitzball and how to get his ultimate weapon and sigil and the other limit breaks that he, or overdrive breaks that he has, or whatever you call it in this game. Uh, yeah, overdrive. Um, so, first of all, we're gonna need to get a Blitzball team, because Team Besaid Orox suck. Alright, so first of all, we want to go to recruit Brother. If you hit the X button, you talk to him like normal. <laughs> but if you hit the square button, you get the scout brother. Level 1, he's free. No games. He's a free agent. 210 guild per game. And yes, we're going to sign him for... I just like go for 99 games because I don't want to have to mess with this again and I have the money. So why not? So brother is going to be your first recruit. Oh, and I'll explain where they all go later. Second recruit. Oh wait. The final showdown was. Second recruit is going to be here on the Jose High Road. And um. And uh, I'll meet you where we get them at. So, all right, I'll be right back, folks. Yeah, here we go. Well, you know what? I decided. I I showed you last episode that I got the energy rain. Um, whatever for Titus. Today I'm gonna act, let's demonstrate it. No, I've been saving this one for you. Yeah, that's pretty cool, boss. That's pretty cool, folks. Told ya. All right, so um, I'll meet you back at Jose. All right, here we are back on the bridge to uh, the Jose Temple. And yay! Thank you for wishing me good luck, folks. And one of you is the guy I'm looking for. There you are. It's the guy in the blue. And yes, you want to sign him for 90... I want. I like signing these guys for 99 games. Yeah, him and Brother are my two most expensive signings. Ka Brother's going to be a midfielder and Caillou's going to be a defender. But I want to go up here because I did not know this existed until a little bit ago. Is that Donna and Bartello? I wonder what did happen to him. Let's find out. Why, it's you again. You still on the road? Yes, but we're not going to Zanakind. Huh? I have decided to go to Bartello's homeland. We are going to let the other summoners deal with Sin. <sighs> I'm... I'm scared. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll put Sin in his place in no time. <gasps> you mean... The final summoning? No, we found another way where no one has to die. Well, whatever it is, good luck. Cross your fingers. Do your best. Bartello, time to go. You know, it just uh, made me think she sounded like Elmo, the, the chocobo breeder head honcho lady. 
All right, so now we're, we're not going to um, cut away here. The final showdown was she. Because we don't need to. We're going to go to um, the Meehead High Road for yeah. the next player. Here we go. Here we go. All right. The next player is right here. Rop. All right. He is a little bit cheaper for 99 games. He's just slightly under 20,000. Hey, yeah, uh, we got to release all our crappy ass um um what you call uh, the the Besaid players, the the OGs. Cuz y'all suck. The final showdown was she. I say All right, I say shut up. All right, the remaining two are in Luca. Yeah, here we go. Now, if you didn't get um, uh, Waka's Jupiter Crest already, it's in one of the lockers of the Besaid, um locker room. We already got it last episode, but today we're gonna talk to Wedge. Yeah. If you're a Star Wars fan. Alright, Letty, goodbye. And Biggs plays too, but prefer Wedge. Biggs and Wedge from Star Wars fame. Um had a lot of Star Wars connections to the Final Fantasy series. Cause they're a bunch of. Man, I hate when the capture card goes out. If you want to recruit another player, this is a female, Shami. She's all right. Um, I actually tried her out, and uh, she wasn't worth it. Uh, the last person we we've got to get is a goalkeeper, folks. He's sitting right over here on this bench, watching his little boy play, Jamal. Now, I'm going to sign up for 99 games. I'll have to, but I will. Keepa, you're out of here. All right. So we've got our team. We can start playing Blitzball at any same sphere we want. I'll just go to the beginning of the Luca area, because why not? Um, and really, it doesn't matter too much who you have on your team, as long as you have Brother at midfield, Titus at left wing, and Jamal at goalkeeper, because the um, rest of the players um, aren't as essential. You'll still win games. But this will make it a little bit easier. Um, and it really depends on personal preference. Uh, the LP I followed years ago, Dark Kefka, I'll mention him again. He used an all-female team because that's the way he rolls. He likes his ladies, what can I say? Um, when I looked at another LP, or a few different LPs, uh, before recording this episode. And... Um, and th th this particular guy's lineup seems to be the best one to go with. So I'm going with it. But really the main components are Brother at midfield, Titus at left wing, and um, Jamal at goalkeeper. Heck, uh, you could even recruit Rin off the airship. Rin is actually a pretty decent blitzball player. And I did not have an LP teach me that. I just did that on my own a long time ago. Um... So let's play some Blitzball, shall we? Now, I'm going to show you real quick that um, I'd rather have the second place prize than the first place prize. Can I back out and get a new league? Let's try that again. Crap. Y'all suck. 
Um, I I don't want a Lux Sphere. I really don't. They suck. Um, Napshot Two is much better. I would re much rather have Napshot Two. That would be great for Wedge. Billy Sphere and nah. Gamble. Yeah, we could get the Gamble if we um. I forgot what Gamble does. To be honest with you, I'm not a Blitzball expert. So, you have to play at least two league games to open up tournament mode. I'm going to play just the first game. Just to show you what we're going to be doing. So, like I said, quarter ass, left field, or, or the left, um, not left field. The left striker there, the left wing guy. Reg, went to Reg. Wedge at the right uh, wing striker guy. He's the most solid of the team. Midfielder, you want brother. He's going to be your uh, Fabinho. Notice I'm a Liverpool fan, folks. And then you're going to want Caillou at, at, at your um, Andy Robertson position, or um, Virgil van Dyke in this case. Or Wait, Virgil plays the right side. Heck, I can't remember anymore, folks. I don't pay too much attention to that. Um, Rop is the other defender. And Jamal is your, well, poor man's Allison Becker, so we'll put him at um, the, the Kwame Kelleher status. Because um, later on down the road, at about 20 games in, I'm not 100% sure, um, you're going to want to get a free agent who plays for the Albed Sykes, and that's Nimrook. He is easily the best goalkeeper in the game. So we're going to set our techniques right now and pretty good right now. Um, in order to learn new techniques, you need to mark other players. So I like to mark like for like positions. So see how I'm just going left defender for left defender, right defender for right defender. And uh, goalie for goalie. And we're going to proceed. So this Blitzball game should be a lot easier than it was um, when we took on the Luka Goers earlier in the, in the uh, LP. And um, I did... Um, oh, well, that sucks. And, uh, and I did win that ball game, so there you go. Oh yeah, hold up. Oh, I'm sorry. I think since we already switched our control to manual A. Yeah, 15 over 4, that's not gonna... See, Caillou with that amazing, ridiculous uh, tackle stat. I'm gonna break to him easy. And we want to get the ball to brother if we can. Because brother is fast. You know what? Normally I would take him to the to the corner, but look at this. Oh hell. Never mind. I thought I had a breakaway. So I thought I had a breakaway, but I don't. I thought I saw the defender is wide enough to where I could beat him to the punch. Got a little bit on that, but not enough. All right, now, Rop is no slouch on defense either. He's got 11 defense, I mean, attack, I mean. Attack, whatever you want to call it. Nine on four, nice. And I want to, ooh. Now we try to get the ball to brother again. This time I'm going to try to draw the defense away from my attack if I can. Uh, not the most successful way of doing it, but I didn't quite draw him away enough from Titus, but we're not going to need to. 
as we are in range. And per we're only going to get one jet shot per half here in the first few games. Once his uh, HP skyrockets, you'll be able to get more jet shots off like this. And if you go back to earlier in the LP um, that I did, you'll find out how to obtain the jet shot on the uh, ship from Kilika to Luka. Anyway, I'm gonna do a Venom Pass. That's not gonna. 12 on 2 is not gonna work, and probably a good thing he didn't touch that. He could have get, got poisoned. Alright. Got a one man breakthrough. You could shoot it here. Oh, I missed my tech copy. When you see that tech copy flash across the screen, you're going to want to hit the X button. And then once you do that. Ooh, wait a minute. I, oh! I'm going to risk it. We're going to pass it to, if we can, which we shall, pass it off to brother. Let's see. Look, look at them go with the, look at this. I'm going to go hit, um, we're going to drill. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to go for it. Didn't quite work. Mm. Five and nine is 14. Oh, never mind. That nine was the other guy's shot. Never mind. All right, this time I learned a new... A new uh, shot there. Oh! What's Rop doing in the uh, midfield? Alright, this. Alright, I'm not going to be able to do anything this first half. I had a pretty uneventful first half so far. I'm not playing so good. But it does get easier, folks. And I learned the Venom shot, but it's nowhere near as good as the Jet shot. Now I learned his uh, deal. Wedge, brother, Caillou, Rop, and Jamal. So once you set up the first time, all you just gotta do is hit the X button. And set text now. Oh, no. Uh, we're just gonna... Now... So they're both set up for the same thing. Why not? Alright. I should be playing a lot better than this, but I'm not. So this is more like how I want to start. I don't know why I didn't break to him. Probably should have, but it'll reach them all the same. And so, what you do, you just draw, you just drew that defender out. That should be an easy break. 12 to 6. I just get a normal shot off here. Except he freaking had a venom tackle. 
which I wasn't prepared for, folks. But I don't want to waste my HP on um, I mean, on on a jet shot when it was somebody I thought I could break through on defense. Ah, I missed the tech copy. You heard the the. Uh, must have hit the button too soon. Oh crap, I got the ball. I'm actually not playing very well today. Alright, I could break through. No. Let's attempt to break through. Yeah. Well, the pass went through miraculously. One, two. Yeah, he's going to drop the ball. The ball didn't reach him in time, and Quarterass has got it. Uh. All right, this will be a jack shot. One, two, and there you go. Goal number one. Goal number two, rather. Okay, I didn't think I did score earlier. I did. All right. I thought I was still scoreless. Feels like a scoreless game. Because you're going to be blowing out these teams. Because your stats grow with every single game. The CPU stats only grow with um, every game they play against you. And there you go, Caillou. The beast there on the, uh, on the, the, uh, Andy Robertson. Or actually, it's more like a... Um, whoever, whoever plays the left side of the fence, which is the guy opposite of um, Virgil Van Dyke, so... If I could... No, I don't have enough HP. I'm going to attempt a shot anyway. See where those guys misses, and I'll get lucky. Nope. Okay, that was actually like for like number wise. Six. Then he missed. Ball makes it out to him. Oh, he dropped it, and that's the game. I don't even have to move the controller. It's a uh, five-minute mark. Time's up. Game over. We win, folks. And nice, nice, nice. All right, so I just want to show you that, and uh, let's see. We're, we won two to nothing. Therefore, um, we go on top of the table based on goal differential because we have a two-goal win versus Luca with a one-goal win. And then Guado also with the win. Now, um, for the golden boot, for the gamble ability, I forgot what the gamble ability does, but for the gamble ability, Quarterass leads the uh, league in, for the race for the golden boot. All right, so we're going to continue playing Blitzball. Oh, tournament mood opened up already it, uh, after one game this time. Nice. 
All right, so um, yeah, in the tournament mode here. Good, I'd have to make an extra edit for that. Tournament road, that's the one we're gonna go for. Is you you want to play the tournaments to get the good stuff. Attack wheels is the next um, item up for bids on um, Waka's um, Overdrive. Later on, you'll see a tournament for the third reel, whatever it is, the fourth reel. One of them are RX reels, and I forget what the other one is. And, um, and then eventually, you'll see first place for the um, Jupiter Sigil. All right, so I'm just going to show all that off. So I'll um, come back when I obtain the attack reels. All right, catch you later, folks, on the other side. All right, as you can see, folks... Um, we did win the tournament, and brother actually scored more goals than than Titus. One goal short of Zazi Guado, so I don't get the good morning um, thing. But Waka learns the overdrive, the attack reels, yay! So we're gonna continue playing Blitz Ball. And the tournament is not available. So I'll um, either come back to you when the tournament ends or the next, I mean the league ends and the next league begins or when the next tournament starts uh, t starts up again with the um, proper, um, whatchamacallit, the proper, um, Prize. All right, see you when I get back, folks. All right, folks. I was just wanted to demonstrate what those attack uh, are. What are the attack reels? Here we go. This is by far his best one because you can get slots like a two hit, one hit. Crap. So you're not going to see the full effect. But, um, if you were to see six hits, you go pow, 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 pow. And imagine him breaking the damage limit and being a lot stronger, folks. All right, let's return to, to the Blitzball Arena. Okay, so I'm back. I don't know how many games I've played, but we'll find out in a minute. But Nimrook, the best goalie in the game... His contract expires. Oh, and he resigned for 37 games. Well, that's not good, folks. Um, a lot of times he'll become a free agent at that point. And um, and I've played 27 games to get to this point. So, um. So let me go back, and um, if you're fortunate enough for Nimrook to not uh, resign, which um, I had a save file and he was good. I don't know if he's up here, if he's down there. I don't think that's Nimrook, but I want to see who that is. I was like, come oh. Oh, look at his passing stats. Nice. Um, I'm not recruiting him, but... A lot of the players are in here. No, I don't want Blappa. There's Judah. Oh. He's got his shot, but no thanks. There's Nimrook. He just resigned for 37 games, so he is the best goalie in the game. He's got 23 catch. Um but too bad so sad. Um let me get back to the blitz ball and I'm gonna show you how far along I am. I have played a whole bunch of unnecessary games. Um, so, play Blitzball, 
And this is my second league. In the second league, I got status reels as first place prize. Top score gets the invisible shot. Technically, I don't even have to play this game. But I will play it. Uh, just because. And this is the last game of the league because I've got... Oh yeah, you play 10 games per league. And and uh, if tournaments do not say what you want, just keep playing league play until you get it. So, um... Alright, I'll be right back, folks. And, um... I'll come back after winning the status reels after one last game. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I won the lead, got 30 points, 10 for 10. And leading scores, all three of my guys, um, Titus, Wedge, and Brother, all in the top three. League season over. And so we get the status reels and invisible shot. Nice. So, I'm going to go out into the world, and, um, let's just demonstrate, whoops, got to go out to the, the world this way. Showdown. Okay, so, um, we've got, uh, Waka's Overdrive leveled up. Let's try, um, status reels. You only really need attack reels, but... Let's just give this a shot just to show it off. I don't even remember what it does. Uh, let's see. Death, death, and death. Ah, huh, that looks pretty sweet. Nice. I'm good, yeah. Nice. All right, and um. Off screen, um, yeah, I'm going to, I learned, uh, I'm not going to learn it, I can learn it right now for Waka, but I'm going to go this way, uh, what I was going to say was, Titus over here learned off screen, quick hit. Which will give you with pretty much like a a really quick extra second turn in a battle. So that's pretty nice. Alright, um back to Blitzball here in a minute, folks. Well I didn't rest uh I didn't go off the air for very long, folks. Now the tournament right after the um status reels You'll have the tournament for the Oryx Reels. Alright, and um, there's some... Um, this is nice. So, um... Crap, I'm not seated. But that's okay. Um... I'll show you the result after I win the tournament. Be right back. Well, I didn't realize I was still recording, folks. But, um... Yeah, we win the... Goal score and the um Arx reels. Get a return sphere, that's nice. So let's go back. Okay folks, we are back. And um let's see what the Arx reels do. And I'm actually not sure what it does. Ah. All right. I'm heading back for more blitz ball. And I'm not sure what triggers um the um what you call it. I'm not sure what triggers the um 
the um, what you would call it the the sigil to appear but um yeah so um yeah because we can't go into um, tournament mode just yet So yeah, I'm gonna um guess play the league. They I did hear that you do have to be in a minimum of 250 battles. Which I think I've broken that, so I think I've completed that, so I'm not sure if it comes up on a league or if it comes up on a um tournament. Um alright, well. I'll see you when I uh, get to it, folks. Uh, stupid. Actually, I can't say OBS this time, folks. Um, I can't blame it on that because my whole computer shut down. All right, two fifty-three. See if we get this in time, and we do. Four fifty-four gone by. F six seconds left. Yeah, my whole computer shut down. It wasn't just the, the capture card this time. So anyway. Yeah, brother ends at level forty-seven. During the um, Jupiter Sigil side quest. Who cares now? Yeah, typical game for us. 6 nothing. Yeah, typical game for us. So, we easily win the league 10-0. I didn't lose a single match. I played, what, like three or four leagues? I can't remember now. Played some unnecessary tournaments that I shouldn't have played, but I did anyway. And all three of my guys are in the top three. Brother didn't score this time, but um, and we get the Jupiter Sigil, yay! And for we get a return sphere, which is also nice. Yeah, I ain't played another Blitzball game again in my life. Screw that. And I guess I was on the airship. No! Thank you. Oh, I don't need to do that. That's right. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've actually played actual Final Fantasy X. We're going back to Luca because we still have to obtain um, his ultimate weapon. And I and um, I actually read you could have done this um, before playing Blitzball, but I didn't know about it. So we're actually going to go to the end of the area here. And we're actually going to go into that cafe. Um, this is it. No, wrong way. Cafe straight ahead. Yes, use a celestial mirror. Better believe it. I'm. I can say that I'm honored to hand over this family heirloom. Nice. And you get the world champion. Our ancestors received this from the Lord High Summoner of Holland. Nice. I remember earlier in the game, it says, Oh, Highland, guide our feet. Please use it with care. And we're going to power it up indeed, folks. Uh, whenever we get to the 
next save sphere. All right, let's just go up to the where we had the laughing moment with uh, Titus and Eno. Oh, what's? Can we talk to these people? Oh, the Crusaders are going to guard the stadium. No, well, that's nice. Here we are in the beginning of the Meehan area. And we are going to board our airship. And let's go power up our weapons, shall we? Final showdown with Sheen. Final showdown with Sheen. Better believe it. Now, where are we at? Freaking. Uh, what's the best place to go? Um, yeah, well, so, no, 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 we want the, um, yeah, it's like Black Lion works. Yeah, here we go. Let's go power up our weapon. Remember earlier in the game, we had some kind of NPC guarding this treasure well. He's gone now. And let's go up uh, this way now. Up the other end of Rainbow Road, as I always like to say, folks. Alright, here we go. Let's, this is why I never do the side quest, because it literally took me a month. All right, Waka. The power is grown, yay. This is... I've only gotten this weapon once because it does take an insane amount of time. Now, if I was actually played this game straight through, they say on the internet the fastest you could do is like five hours. And that's too much time for me, folks. Let's take a look at his uh, weapon here, shall we? The champion of the world! Break damage limit, triple overdrive, double AP. And evade encounter. Nice. Alright, so yeah, let's go do that stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and get them off of their um oh, what's the weapon I want to use for him. Let's use that for now for him. Use his weapon. Actually, Yuno's not on her weapon. That's Lulu. We are going to power her weapon up eventually, but not yet. Yeah, I put on the wrong weapon. Actually, one on the Nirvana. All right, so, um, yeah, I'm actually going to get back on the airship. We're finally going to end this episode. Thank the Lord, man. I'm, wow. Next time, we're going to head over to the uh, Omega Dungeon. We got to do several things there. We got to level up our characters. That's why I want to get. Um, Waka and um, Titus and Aaron with their ultimate weapons. Um, so we have a chance, and Yuna, of course. Um, so we're gonna see if we can grind her the holy spell. Um, because 
that makes her OP offensively. Um, see what we can do for uh, Lulu to see if we can get her the Ultima spell. And, uh, and then I want to get one, see if we can get a lucky random drop, which will give us no encounters, which will allow us to go and do, after the Omega Dungeon Dungeon, the, um, the side quest for Riku. Let's get her ultimate weapon powered up. And then we're going to take on, then we'll advance the plot after that, folks. So that's uh, the roadmap of the game that I plan on doing. Okay, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X.